community. And, uh, but as an attorney, I want to ask you, especially when it comes to commercial real estate, how important is it to be working with attorneys when you're getting yourself into real estate? Maybe residential, not nearly, not quite as important. It's so much more standardized with the PAs and the, uh, you know, the addendums and so forth. Purchase agreements. Permit agreements. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say PAs. <laughs> Purchase agreements. But in commercial real estate, it's really important to have a lawyer on your hip. I've always been telling people. Well, it, it couldn't be more important. You know, you're really swimming with big fish yeah. when you're involved in a commercial deal. And what will happen is, is that people won't do the things that they need to do to, to properly protect their interests. And at the end of the day, they're left hol uh, holding an empty bag. And there's a lot of things that you can do, but this is not our first rodeo. We're experts in real estate law. So we know the things that you need to do in order to protect yourself. And the deals are complicated. I'll give you an example. I was just dealing with a client's deal. Um, a, uh, he's a purchaser of a piece of property. The person that sold it to him didn't have the right to sell it to him because he violated a mortgage on a bank in doing that. Uh -huh. um, the property had undisclosed deficits and all sorts of other problems with it. And all of a sudden, this thing is turning into a huge mess. Right. My job is to put it back together, make it make sense, do it in an economical basis, and get him the, in the interest in the property that he purchased. And we're able to do that. Uh, but the more that the client doesn't build a great foundation for this commercial business deal, the more difficult and uncertain it is for us to do the things that we need to do. So right from the get-go, you got to have your proper business entity. you got to go into the deal. you got to do the title work. You have to do other things. And, and even in a residential way, a lot of people just go buy property and they'll shoot from the hip. They won't have a realtor. Yeah. The realtor won't get a title company involved. Right. The financing is some seller financing thing, and they wind up buying nothing. Yeah, it's important in any any business, any real estate, any financial matter, American Dreamer, you want to be working with the right professionals who understand the questions you should be asking, even if you're not sure what they are. And, and so this experience, you don't just need an attorney. <laughs> you need an experienced attorney with a history of uh, fighting and winning on your behalf who understands what needs to be done on the front end to cover your assets, and if something goes a little sideways, how are we going to win this argument? Because uh, grown-ups don't fight with fisticuffs in the streets. Grown-ups fight with lawyers in courtrooms, and that's why you want to have the best team you can. Jim Razor with the Razor Law Firm is in talking to us about the importance of working with the right experts. Now, Jim, I know we sat on Saturday just a few minutes last year.